Good afternoon, I'm Sean Forbes and welcome to Bellucci TV Online. On August 11, 1947, after more than two centuries of British colonial rule, Baluchistan was declared an independent and sovereign nation. At the same time, the dominion of Pakistan was also separately established under the rule of Jinnah. Seven months later, on March 27, 1948, Pakistan's army invaded Baluchistan and forcefully annexed the region. That day marked the beginning of the dark times, and since then, March 27th is regarded by many as a black day in history. After the illegal annexation and subsequent occupation of Balochistan, the Pakistan army has engaged in five separate military campaigns against the Baloch nation. Their current and fifth military campaign is still underway. Each time, they have failed to crush the freedom movement. Rather than defeating the pro-independence movement, each military campaign resulted in the Baluch revolution growing ever stronger. While Pakistan continues to accelerate the severity of their current military campaigns in occupied Baluchistan, the Baluch freedom movement continues to gain significant momentum. अब इसको कोई डर से मानता है या नंद जाने से मानता है मैं समझता हूँ हकीकत ये है कि ये वजूद ही नहीं रखता हम खाम खा इसको अपने सर पे थोपे हुए या उसके हटाने की कोशिश मुनासिब टॉमी व्हेन नोबडी गिव्स अस एनी टॉमी देन पीपल स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अदर एक्सट्रीम्स व्हिच इज बट नेचुरल एवरीबॉडी विशेस टू बी फ्री एंड सोवरेन अपने कारोबार का अपने क्या का खुद वो आका होना चाहता है to do as he thinks is right or fit. Nobody likes to be a slave.
ये दुश्मन असेंबली अगर तुम हीले बंदा के असेंबली मना प्यारा तांदा असेंबली मना खुशहाली दा मो तो मो मसी कुल गरीबा तंगड़ा कुल अगर तो के डॉक्टर साहब ये तो के तो मैं दिला मानया के के मां गुलाम हूं मां गुलाम हूं मां मन हूं नहीं हर रोज के मां मन से मां गुलाम हूं गुरु मां खड़ो हूं मिलू मसी गुलामी आजाद जी का मैं गुलामी या सही हूं बिल्ला ए मगू कि कसे बुलारा बेरा बोलियां कर 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 के आगे मना पिता गुलाम मैं दा मैं गुलाम असता खुश न्या कबूल न कर लगा ने गुलाम ना मन लगा ना लेकिन गुलाम असता गुलाम खया गुलाम बन गया कौन तो नहीं हो सका इसलिए ये तो कि अस्त के ये वक्त है जो सिलसिला है भाई ये बलूचिस्तान में मुजम्मत है तारीख के तारीख के भाई ये हम दे मिडाई ये हम दे झगड़ा है हम दे धमाका है हम दे कोई सिलसिला है कौन बा फर्क फर्क हंदा के खाए के नगर छोए मखलूक के नगर मई अंदाजा के हर कसे के नगर हर बेरे मखलूक के नगर मना आएंगे सोरे सलाम में आएंगे इंशाल्लाह जो है in remembrance of the March 27th occupation of the Baloch homeland, BSO Azad is calling upon social media activists and human rights defenders to join the hashtag 27 March Black Day social media campaign on March 27th. Additionally, the Baloch National Front has called for a Balochistan-wide wheel jam shutterdown strike on March 27th to protest Pakistan's unlawful occupation of Balochistan in 1948. On March 21st, 2015, the Pakistan Telecommunication Authority has recently imposed further censorship of online news websites. The latest addition to Pakistan's website blacklist is the highly popular Sangar Publications. Founded in 2009, Sangar Publications has become Balochistan's largest and most up-to-date news source providing professional, high-quality content including daily online news reports from occupied Balochistan printed publications, live radio shows, and daily radio programs. Despite the unconstitutional ban on their website, Sangar Publications is continuing to publish news from occupied Balochistan. In addition to Sangar Publications, Pakistan has also added the popular blogging website WordPress.com to the internet blacklist for unspecified reasons. WordPress.com has frequently been used by journalists and activists to create awareness of Pakistan's human rights abuses. Since the Pakistani state is unable to withstand criticism, they classified any news or material which could be perceived as critical of the Pakistani government as anti-state propaganda. To hide their shameful human rights abuses and crimes against humanity, the occupier state has been actively engaged in the blatant persecution of journalists. Most recently, the bureau chief of Reuters, Maria Golovnina, was found dead in the Islamabad Reuters office on February 23rd of 2015. According to authorities, she was found with marks on her body and neck. An autopsy later revealed she had died as a result of asphyxiation. Pakistani authorities have remained reluctant to officially classify her death as a homicide, saying that the causes of her death could not be immediately established. Another renowned journalist, Irshad Mastoy, was murdered in 2014 when gunmen stormed the Quetta office of Online International News and assassinated three workers. In addition to the bureau chief, Ishad Mastoy, a trainee reporter, Ghulam Rasul, and the accountant, Muhammad Yunus, were also killed during the attack. The Daily Tawar has also been subjected to the state's violent campaigns to silence journalists in Balochistan. In August of 2013, the tortured remains of Daily Tawar reporter Haji Abdul Razak Baluch were found dumped in the Karachi area. Abdul Razak, a highly respected Baluch journalist, had been abducted from Liari five months prior to the discovery of his remains. In April of 2013, the Daily Tawar office in Karachi was ransacked, looted, and set ablaze by state security forces. Similarly, in December of 2010, Ilyas Nizar, editor of Baluchi magazine Darwant, was abducted by Pakistani forces from Pazni Zero Point. Two weeks later, his bullet-riddled remains were found dumped near Turbat. Additionally, in 2009, Chief Editor of the Daily Asap, 
John Muhammad Dashti, was attacked in Quetta. John Muhammad and his driver were seriously injured when unidentified gunmen opened fire on his vehicle. Prominent GEO News anchor Hamid Mir also survived a savage assassination attempt by ISI death squads in Karachi on April 19th of 2014. Gunmen driving two motorcycles and a car chased down Hamid Mir's vehicle and opened fire, shooting Hamid Mir three times. After undergoing extensive surgery, Hamid Mir survived the encounter. Prior to the attack, Hamid Mir had allegedly been threatened by both state and non-state actors. On March 3rd, the Quetta Press Club received threats from a gang of fanatic thugs calling themselves the Fedayeen Islam, who demanded the Quetta Press Club expel all Christian journalists. Irfan Said, president of the Balochistan Union of Journalists, issued a statement denouncing the threats against media professionals. Irfan Said said that Balochistan has become the most dangerous province for working journalists in Pakistan. Forty journalists have been killed in acts of violence during the past ten years. Countless journalists, both professional and independent, have been harassed, threatened, assaulted, abducted, and even killed for reporting honest, credible news. Such barbaric persecution of journalists is a significant indicator of how far Pakistan is willing to go to prevent journalists, writers, and activists from reporting the severe atrocities and gross human rights abuses inflicted upon the innocent civilians of occupied Balochistan. No democratic society can function without freedom of speech, and when an individual's freedom to openly express ideas and opinions is censored, it becomes impossible for free society to progress. As Pakistan continues their sinister efforts to silence any media exposing their atrocities, Baloch activists around the world have redoubled their efforts to generate awareness of Pakistan's continual human rights abuses in occupied Balochistan. On March 21st, Baloch Republican Party Germany activists held a demonstration in Frankfurt, Germany to protest the enforced abductions, severe human rights abuses, and illegal occupation of Balochistan. BRP Germany activists have granted BTVO the following exclusive video statements detailing some of the atrocities committed in occupied Balochistan and outlining their perspectives on the current state of occupied Balochistan. rights violation in Balochistan. Since Pakistan had committed the crime of aggression by invading Balochistan on 27 March 1948, the Baloch have been struggling to restore the independence of their homeland. However, to crush their movement, Pakistani security forces have violated all human rights fundamentals. The abductions or the enforced disappearances by Pakistani forces in Balochistan mainly target the cream of the Baloch society. For example, the educated youth, political activists, teachers, lawyers, poets, intellectuals, and enlightened people belong to every walk of life. In Balochistan, no one is living a safe and free life. It counts to all Baloch, whether they are students or religious people. The Baloch nation is one of the most ancient in the region. Baloch lived in their homeland for thousands of years and had their own sovereign state until the arrival of the British in 1839. British colonialism and subsequent Persian and Punjabi Muslim occupations of Balochistan are illegal and immoral. Baloch has the same rights as any other free nation, to be free from subjugation and to determine its own affairs and future. Freedom is our most natural inherent right. In its absence, there will never be democracy, stability, security and prosperity in the region. We want the international community to recognize our inherent and democratic rights. It should acknowledge, acknowledge that our homeland has been occupied by foreign forces and we have the right to determine our own destiny and future. We want the international community to send observers to Balochistan to investigate the crimes against humanity committed by the occupying states of Pakistan and Iran. They should put pressure on these states and stop assisting them, financially or otherwise. They should make their support con conditional on human rights conventions and practices. We want all open and democratic nations to be on our side, but particularly European democracies the United Kingdom and the America. Long live BRP, 
लॉन्ग लिव बलोचिस्तान लॉन्ग लिव बलोच समाचार आई वॉन्ट टू हाई लाइट द ऑन गोइंग ह्यूमन राइट्स वॉलेशन इन बलोचिस्तान इन डेरा बुक्टी अंडर सेज फ्राम लास्ट फाइव डेज टेन इनोसेंट्स हैव बीन किल्ड एंड अबाउट फोर्टी आर अबडक्टेड सो फार For the past two months, Gishkor has been under constant attack by Pakistani army. Pakistani forces resumed their barbaric operation again in Gishkor for a third time in past two months. Pakistani forces kidnapped 30 students, were beaten and tortured. by state forces including the women children and elderly dear colleagues the struggle is continued and it requires more strength commitment loyalty and sincerity and i believe it should be our duty to tender our time and support for this cause so that the dream of our elders fulfilled we should join hands with nawab brahm da bukti and support his struggle not only morally but we should arrange time and for this noble cause in future also long life baloch freedom movement long life baloch republic party thank you Bloch Republican Party Germany chapter also recently met with the leaders of the Kurdish Israeli Friendship Association in the city of Cologne Germany on March 15th. BRP Germany chapter president Ashraf Sherjan Bloch along with vice president Nasrullah Bloch and Jawad Bloch held a detailed discussion with the KIFA leaders regarding Pakistan's illegal occupation of the Bloch homeland and their violent genocide of the Bloch people. Bloch people are suppressed oppressed and killed on daily basis but not a single media person in pakistan would dare enough to bring the truth before the world millet baluchi bin shkenje dana bin bandoria zulm uzora dari usatom kariye dana kash jaliye agahdarin media pakistan paybake yan khabarake yan chek sar van Merovein ye hatun kushtin danakhim The brutal occupation of Pakistan on Baloch land and its brutal policies against the Baloch people goes until the human rights enforcer wouldn't take actions against it Tishte dije milate baluchi jaliye pakistania tek karani aw zedi sinore mafe merovatie u zagon u qanun ewe e dunya e पेश ام ارتشا و جيشا عسكري لشكري باكستاني ايشي غندكي در بوغاتي بوكتي باجار هان ايشي وكرن و بغلك تشك سلاح خو ايشي ملت اي هندك دوي باجار جان بنج بلوتشي و واكشتن و غلك جوان نروبن هاتن كشتن جنو زاروب Pakistani forces with the support of international aids particularly which they receive from the United States and European countries are being used against innocent baluch civilians in massive military operations in balochistan on daily basis Pakistani has in Pakistani au pishgirti u alikarij galak organizasyon yan has in نابنتوي انترناشونال دستينه و بنافي قالك دوله اوروبي داخل و كاريخه استفاده جوان دك ديجي 
بلوچه ای مروف نگریم یه نگارن تشتکی برخواه بدن به اپراسیون عسکری لشکری دیجا ملت بلوچی هر روژه بروژ دیکن We want the international community to recognize our inherent democratic rights. It should acknowledge that our homeland has been occupied by foreign forces and we have the right to determine our own destiny and future. We want the international community to send observers to Balochistan to investigate the crimes against humanity committed by the occupying states of Pakistan and Iran. KIFA founder Bakhtiar Ibrahim and President Cardus pledged their full support for the Baluch nation, agreeing to full cooperation on both sides. Bakhtiar Ibrahim said, Baluch and Kurd nations have been facing the same situation, and in order to expose Pakistan, they have to work together. Additionally, on March 13th, BRP Germany activists attended the 46th anniversary gathering of the International Society for Human Rights in Bonn City, Germany. BRP activists held a number of productive discussions with the IGFM board members regarding the current situation in occupied Balochistan. More than one year now has passed since the enforced abduction of former BSO Azad chairman Zahid Baluch. On March 18, 2014, after attending a meeting in Quetta, Zahid Baluch was whisked away at gunpoint by state agents. Soon after his abduction, BSO Azad began a series of demonstrations to protest the unlawful abduction of the student leader. BSO Azad Central Committee member Latif Johar boldly demanded the occupier state release the abducted student leader and held a 47-day hunger strike at the Karachi Press Club. Despite Latif Johar's valiant protest, the occupier state refused to officially acknowledge the unlawful abduction and imprisonment of Zahid Baluch. While some human rights groups had promised at the time to investigate the disappearance of Zahid Baluch, Pakistan has completely blocked NGOs from entering the region. Since then, BSO Azad has continued to hold demonstrations and protests demanding Pakistan release Zahid Baluch. Most recently, on March 18th, the Baluch National Front held a massive protest in Karachi from 8 Chok to Karachi Press Club. Additionally, social media activists and human rights defenders the world over joined together in a public social media campaign using hashtag SaveBSOAzadLeader to create awareness of the abduction of Zahid Baluch one year earlier. Activists urged the international community and human rights organizations around the world to take action to investigate and play a role in the safe recovery of former BSO Azad chairperson Zahid Baluch. BSO Azad London Zone also conducted an awareness campaign in London, UK. The London-based activists distributed pamphlets urging citizens to write letters to government officials and join the campaign to save BSO Azad leader Zahid Baluch. On March 17th, a Baluchistan-wide shutter-down strike was observed as a solemn tribute to the memory of those who died in the 2005 Darabukti massacre. Baluch Republican Party activists also held a social media campaign using hashtag 17 March Massacre to remember the victims of the 2005 massacre in Darabukti, in which 70 innocent civilians were brutally martyred when the Pakistan army heavily bombarded Shaheed Nawab Akbar Khan Bukti's hometown with fighter jets, gunship helicopters, and heavy artillery. Additionally, more than 200 people were severely wounded during the attacks. Since then, the Pakistan army has been conducting perpetual military operations in the region, bombing villages, burning homes, abducting and killing countless innocent civilians. As a result, thousands of Bukti people have been internally displaced and forced to live as refugees. On March 15th, Baluch community of South Korea held a conference with the KHRC Intercommunity Forum to discuss the illegal occupation of Baluchistan and the ongoing human rights violations in the region. During the event, Waja Nasir Ahmed Baluch and BSO Azad, South Korea's own coordinator, Banak Hafsa Baluch, addressed the gathering to deliver powerful speeches.
Balochistan got independence from British Empire on 11 August of 1947. Uh, on Balochistan, on the 19, uh, it was uh, independent country till 27 March of 1948. On 27 March 1948, the brutal army of a failure state called Pakistan occupied our country. The, uh, the Pakistan attack on Kalat, the capital of Balochistan. And illegally occupied it by force. <coughs> From that day till today, Baloch nationalists are struggling and fighting against the oppression of Pakistan. And day by day, the brutality of Pakistan is increasing. Pakistan is consistently engaged in Baloch genocide. Every day, four to five mutilated dead bodies of Baloch activists are found all across Balochistan. And in dead bodies, doctors, engineers, uh, political activists, uh, farmers, even students and uh, women, also children, have been killed and tortured. Every young woman and children killed by our agency called ISI and MI. Every one of two Baloch are victims of state crime. According to recently uh, human rights reports on Balochistan, more than 20,000. Baloch people were abducted and, uh, and being tortured in unknown places. And more than 6,000 Baloch people were killed by Pakistani state. Miran Mari Baloch recently addressed the 28th session of the United Nations Human Rights Council on March 20th in Geneva. Miran Mari delivered a detailed description of human rights violations in occupied Balochistan and additionally described the occupier state's blatant endorsement of Islamic extremist death squads in occupied Balochistan. Mr. President, the human rights situation in Balochistan is worsening by the minute. The human rights defenders are facing increasing obstacles in their efforts to highlight the human rights abuses and remedial action for the abuses. On the 4th of March, Mama Kadir Baluch, whose son Jalil Reiki from political party BRP was killed after abduction in 2010, and Farzana Majid Baluch, whose brother Zakir Majid Baluch from Baluch student organization BSO Azad was abducted on the 8th of June 2009 and is still missing, were invited to a human rights conference in New York on the 7th of March, but they weren't allowed to proceed on the excuse of their name being put on the exit control list, an arbitrary instrument to impose restrictions on travel. The restrictions on travel also impose a bar on freedom of expression. Mr. President, the 21st Amendment, which allows the formation of military courts, is just a ploy to legitimize the extrajudicial killings that they otherwise indulge in. In Baluchistan, the military courts in the past have been used to repress the Baluch rights. On July 15, 1960, seven persons were hanged after military trials. These courts, in fact, are kangaroo courts, which will further aggravate human rights situation in Baluchistan, as on the flimsiest of excuses, the Baluch activists will be sent to the gallows. The kill and dump policy continues unabated and is reinforced by the fake encounters which have now become a regular tactic of the army and the frontier corps, who ensure that young and able-bodied Baluch are targeted. Mr. President, the religious outfits that the state has let loose in Baluchistan to change the historical secular ethos are also acting as death squads, which harass, intimidate, kill people with impunity. The situation is expected to get worse, with China helping Pakistan to loot Baloch resources, which the Baloch want to protect for the future generations. But China and Pakistan are ready to use their force to deprive us of our wealth. The world has to wake up to multiple threats to the Baloch nation. I thank you, Mr. President. A special event was also organized at the 28th session of the UNHRC by the UNPO, or Unrepresented Nations and Peoples Organization, titled Balochistan in the Shadows. Buried Human Rights, Global Geopolitics, and Regional Repercussions. During the event, foreign spokesperson of the Baluch National Movement, Hamel Haider Baluch, highlighted the issues of human rights abuses in Baluchistan and radicalization of Baluch society to counter the Baluch independence movement. Hamel Haider said that, Some of my colleagues have already talked in detail about Pakistan's brutal kill and dump operations in Baluchistan. It's called kill and dump by human rights groups because Pakistan forces with impunity pick up anyone who sympathizes with the Baluch cause, 
torture them for weeks or months before killing them, and then dump their bodies at remote places. Such bodies have been found in thousands during the past 10 years across Baluchistan, sometimes in mass graves and sometimes in the solitude of Baluchistan's inhospitable hills. Hamel Haider additionally urged all democratic and secular forces of the world to support the Baluch in their secular struggle against Pakistani fanaticism. During the UPNO event at the 28th session of the UNHRC, U.S.-based RAND Corporation recently suggested a potential shift in U.S. foreign policy regarding Pakistan. Senior political scientist Peter Chalk of RAND Corporation said that until now the U.S. is being dependent on Pakistani support in the global war on terror, particularly ruling out foreign elements from their tribal belt, and therefore has not pushed a strong international response to what Pakistan is doing in Balochistan that may change as Pakistan's strategic importance to the United States falls following the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Peter Chalk further stated that issues of state abuses, human rights violations, these are international concerns that need to be addressed. During these dark times, and especially on this Black Day, the dedicated Baluch activists around the world boldly stand together as a shining beacon exposing Pakistan's wicked agendas. Thanks to the tireless efforts of Baluch activists and human rights defenders, many international human rights groups are beginning to take notice of the situation in Balochistan. With each passing day, global awareness of Pakistan's genocidal campaign in occupied Balochistan is increasing significantly. Groups such as Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, UNPO, the AHRC, and many others have expressed genuine concern for the deteriorating human rights situation in occupied Balochistan. Let us start with the incontrovertible fact, and that is that Balochistan is occupied territory. It never willingly acceded to Pakistan, does not now wish to be part of Pakistan. If a plebiscite or referendum were held tomorrow, it would vote to leave Pakistan, as would every province and territory west of the Indus River. We have a fundamental problem in that we refuse to see Pakistan for what it is. We imagine or pretend that it's a legitimate state, really in our own image, a democracy. But it's a democracy only as long as its military rulers allow it to be a democracy. It is, in fact, a miniature empire. This has been Sean Forbes, and thank you for watching.